pitching tonight for your Cedar Ridge Raiders is number 17, Jacob Havern. Y'all, I do not have the national anthem, so if we would still rise, take our caps off, and let's do the site, the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag. Thanks, folks. Let's, yes, that's right. Let's play ball. Let's do it. Coach, Harry, how are you, buddy? You good? I'm great. Right. Uh, hello, folks. Welcome to tonight's matchup, game two of this week's series. Mavericks taking on Cedar Ridge Raiders. Cedar Ridge hosting Mavericks here tonight. And um, after the Mavs lost the first game on Tuesday night, hoping to uh, try to even the score here this evening. Beautiful weather out here, a little windy, a little wind blowing out pretty much directly out to the uh, 319 sign out there in left field. And we are just getting ready to get underway. Top of the order for the Mavericks due to come up here in the top of the first will be leading off second base from Jack Goins, shortstop Ryan Vosick, and then number three hitter, which will also be your pitcher tonight, the senior Chris Windesman. And they will face the starting pitcher for Cedar Ridge tonight, number 17, Jacob Havern. Havern, the tall right-hander, also a Louisiana Tech commit. And we will see what he has in store for the Mavericks here tonight. So Havern has his warm-ups. And we are just getting ready to get underway here. Now batting number one, Jack Going. Jack Goins to lead it off. Goins was one for two with a double on Tuesday night against the Raiders. And he looks at that first pitch. Fastball misses low in the dirt for ball one to start the game. Next pitch swung on a little chop ground ball is going to be fouled down over towards the Raiders dugout. Next pitch swung on, another chop ground ball, but it's going to chop right into the third baseman's glove. He throws over to first base in time to get going for the first out of the inning. Now batting number nine, Ryan Vosick. So one away here in the top of the first. That brings up shortstop Ryan Vosick. Vosick one for two on Tuesday. He swings to the first pitch and Fouls it back into the screen. Oh, one pitch is in there for called strike two. Sunny, 79 degrees out here right now. Winds to the southeast at 11 miles an hour. And 0-2. Oh Pitch misses outside and low. Get a ball up in the jet stream, kind of towards left field side, and it's probably going to carry pretty considerably. And the next pitch misses low again. Two and two now the count to Vasek. Good evening, everyone. There he is. And next pitch, Vasek takes and grounds it sharply foul, third base side, out of play. I had to get my lineup cards, uh, you know, straightened out. So, 
Let's go Mavs. 2-2 Two -two breaking ball swung on a miss, strike three. Now batting number 18, Chris Wendisman. Two away, that'll bring up number three hitter Chris Wendisman. Wendisman with a double on Tuesday night in a one for three overall effort. And he swings at the first pitch and fouls it back out of play. Next pitch, fastball misses high for ball one. Up high again with a fastball, gets Windsor to swing and miss for strike two. One ball, two strikes to count, two outs, nobody on. Oh, next pitch comes in real high and tight in the kitchen there, almost hits Windsor, but somehow missed. Comes a 2-2 pitch to Windesman. Swung on, ground ball right up the middle, bounces into the hands of the second baseman. He throws the first, and Windesman is retired for the third out of the inning. So the Mavs go 1-2-3 in the top of the first. No runs, no missed, no errors. We head to the bottom of the first. Raiders coming up for their first at bats. We'll be right back. Number 15, Matthew Brooks. All right, center fielder Matthew Brooks will lead it off for Cedar Ridge here in their first at-bats this game. He'll be followed by the shortstop, Tucker Allen, and then second baseman, Peyton Doolin. Chris Windsman, your starting pitcher tonight for the Mavericks, senior left-hander. First pitch from Windesman. Misses outside and low for ball one. Oh. 
Next pitch swung on, fly ball into shallow left field. That's going to get down and away from this left fielder, Morio. Goes to the fence. Brooks is going to be in with a double, and he's going to come around and try to get a triple out of it. And he's going to get nailed. Nope. He easily had a stand-up double. Stand-up double was about halfway around a third yeah. and hesitated just a second because he yeah, saw that the cutoff throw three. was coming in a little faster than he thought. Yep. So... Double for Brooks, but he is out trying to advance to third and extend it into triple. So one away. We'll bring up the shortstop, Tucker Allen. Late call by the umpire there, but uh, Windesman gets the called strike to start the at-bat. Tries to check a swing. Didn't go around, but Par said it caught the, cop the uh, outside part of the plate. So, Wind has been working ahead with 0-2 here. Next nice pitch swung on, fouled out of play. O2 pitch swung on, fly ball, shallow right field. Morio comes in a couple of steps to his right and he banks the grab. That would be the other Morio, Brandon Morio in right field. So two quick outs for Windesman here in the bottom of the first. And that brings up the left hand hitting number three hitter, Peyton Doolin. Doolin swings the first pitch he sees and fouls it back into the screen. Next pitch misses away. Be one and one. Fouled, just got a tip piece of it, fouled it back into the screen. It'll be one ball, two strikes. Out of any of these district games, have we had calm wind? <laughs> it's, it's like you get a hold of one, you put these teams, they get a hold of one going left, you know, to left, yeah, field, left field, left center field, whatever. It's, you know, you get it up there. Nice it's going to be gone. Pull the string on the change of swing and strike three. Yes, sir. After one complete, Third out. So, Raiders go one, two, three. No runs, no hits, no errors. We head to the top of the second. Still no score. Mavs coming up to bat. We'll be right back. I mean, that's... All right, leading off for the Mavs here in the top of the second, Jackson Collins, first baseman.
first pitch to Collins. Fastball misses outside, ball one. Another fastball outside low this time. Actually gets away from the catcher and back to the screen. So quick 2-0 count to Collins to start the inning. Collins will be followed by the catcher Garrett Banks and then uh, center fielder Ramsey Simpson. Another fastball misses outside low. Three-o pitch is there for get me over called strike. Now I'll take you a hack. Come on, Jackson. Nice pitch swung on, got a piece of it, fouled it back. So all the way back from 3 0 to a full count now. Three two pitch swung on foul tipped, but right into the catcher's gloves, so it'll be strike three. Second strikeout of the game so far for Raiders pitcher Havern. One away brings up catcher Garrett Banks. It looks like I called for a strike. Caught the outside corner, according to the umpire. Next pitch swung on, soft ground ball, popped right in the first baseman's glove. He's going to run over and take it himself for the second out of the inning. Number 12, Ramsey Simpson. So two quick outs. That'll bring up left-handed, left-hand hitting center fielder this game, uh, Ramsey Simpson. Simpson was one for three on Tuesday night. He swings the first pitch, lines it right at the Good third side. baseman. Right at him, right at the third baseman for the third out for the Mavs. So another 1-2-3 inning here in the top of second. No runs, no hits. Still no score. We head to the bottom of the second. Raiders coming up to bat in a second. We'll be right back. Number 21, Cody Monroe. All right, leading off for the Raiders here in the bottom of the second, designated hitter Cody Monroe. And the first pitch to Monroe misses outside for ball one. Monroe will be followed by first baseman Hudson Hartgrove, and then left fielder 
Luke Salters. Another pitch misses outside, ball two. Big swing and a miss on 2-0 -oh there. One pitch, breaking ball just misses. This will be a 3-1 count to the leadoff hitter this inning, Monroe. Three-one pitch swung on, popped up. Sky high. Shallow left center field. Center fielder Ramsey Simpson's over to make the grab, and he does for the first out of the inning. Now batting. It's a little bit of a concern when the ball gets up like that <laughs> with this wind. Yeah. Well, it had the height, didn't have the distance. Not at all. Yeah, I just been uh, with it with it dropping in left center field. So Hudson Hargrove comes in, steps in, and takes a hack at the first swing, fouls it back into the screen. Pitch, good breaking ball, swung out of miss, strike two. With a drop on that breaking ball right mm -hmm. there. Which is nice. Let's get another one of those. Next pitch, swung on, grounded right up the middle, knocked down by the second baseman Goings, but not going to have a chance That's to a make hit. a play. So it'll be an infield hit infield for now batting Hudson Hargrove with one out. Schulter. Got to bring up left fielder Luke Salters. <laughs> Squares around to bunt. Kind of a hard push bunt right down first base line. Collins is going to take it himself and get the out at first. Nice sacrifice. Now batting. Number 14, Brandon uh, Vasquez. Yeah, may have bunted it a little bit harder than he wanted to, but he got the job done. And yeah, I mean, pushing the uh, runner over to second base. Sacrificed him over, but yeah. also two outs. So Advancing the runner, but. Interesting philosophy there. That brings yeah. up Brandon Vasquez, the third baseman. And he looks at a called strike. Owen pitch gets away from the catcher Banks, goes back to the screen. That's going to allow Salters to advance easily to third base. So now a run 90 feet away with a 1 1 count on the hitter Vasquez. Next pitch misses up. Two balls, one strike to count. Two one pitch is swung on and fouled back into the net. We got deuces. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Pull the string. Good and breaking ball, got him swinging strike three. Mm. So the Raiders put one on, get him all the way around to third, but can't bring him home. I say he pulled the string right there. Nice, great breaking pitch right there for the third out. So no runs on one hit. We head to the top of the third. Still no score. 
Mavericks coming up to bat. We'll be right back. Moving right along. All right, seven, eight, nine, due up for the Mavs here in the top of the third. Leading off with your right fielder, Brandon Morio. Morio one for two on Tuesday night. And swings and misses the first pitch, strike one. Next pitch swung on, line drive into center field. That's going to get down for a base hit. So a leadoff single for Morio to start the third inning. That brings up the designated hitter, Caleb Crail. Way to start the inning. That was an 86 mile an hour fastball, too. Yeah. He just took the center field. Went with it, drop it in there, out in kind of mid center. Yep. Mid right center. Crow looks at that first pitch. This is inside, ball one. And Hadley tries outside. to go outside, yeah. misses outside this time. Next pitch swung on, kind of chop foul softly over towards the Raiders dugout. Kind of got the sense there might have been a hit and run going on there, but uh, possibly runner Morio missed the sign there. I don't know. We'll see. I'm sure he'll, about, he'll hear about it back in the dugout if that was the case. 2 1 pitch to Crail. Swung on, just kind of chopped it foul back to the screen. And his dad will ask him after the game just to confirm. <laughs> Might be a topic of conversation <laughs> when we get home, yep. <laughs> know your signs, kids. Know your signs. Always. 2-2. Two -two. So oh. on line drive. Oh, and Moria was running. He's going to get doubled up at first. What do you do? Not much on that. Yeah, good job by Havern to just kind of stick the yeah. glove out there on that comebacker, and then unfortunately Mori was already committed, and he gets doubled up. So bang bang play makes erases the runner on the base pass, and now two outs, and that brings up James Morio, the left fielder. Let's see what brother James will do. Pitched Morio, swung on and missed. In 86. 86 on the radar there. Man, just get a piece of that one to foul yep. it back. One ball, two strikes. Steady diet of fastballs on the outside part of the plate so far for Morio here. We'll see if uh, there's a flash break. throw another ball. one, but yeah, I'm expecting breaking. Nope. Comes heat inside, bounces. Back to the top of the order if uh, Morio manages to reach base here with two outs. Two two pitch. Swung on. 
Shallow kind of down, ball, ball center down. Field, nope. but center fielder Brooks center fielder made the catch. comes in a couple steps on the run and makes the grab. For the third out. So Mavs get a base runner, but on a double play, they go one, two, three. No runs, one hit. Still tied up 0-0. Zero, zero. We're heading to the bottom of the third. We'll be right back. Now batting, number All right, five. number 25, Connor Wilbur, left or right fielder, will lead it off for Cedar Ridge here in the bottom of the third. Got eight, nine batters coming up, then back to the top. Do up this inning. First pitch misses outside low for ball. Next pitch, a lot of run on it. Almost comes in and hits the batter Wilbur there, but just misses. So it'll be a 2 0 count. Yeah, I was expecting to tell you. For Next that pitch, pitch swung on oh. fly ball into the gap oh. in left center field. That ball's going to carry and, and it's get out of the park. Yes, sir. Home run for Cedar Ridge. That was the right place yep. to do it. Just got a high fly ball up in the jet stream, and it just carried out over the left center field fence. Solo shot for number 25, Connor Wilbur. So one nothing, Cedar Ridge. <laughs> Somebody better go get it. We got mom and dad very, <laughs> very close here to us. <laughs> All right, that brings up the catcher. <laughs> turns to him. Kyle so Norton. to go get it. <laughs> and Norton looks at a first pitch breaking ball in there for a called strike. And there goes dad. He's going to get the ball. <laughs> there you go, dad. Next pitch comes in. It looks like it did hit him somewhere around the shoulder there. So Norton will head down with a hit by pitch. A little, little too much inside run on that one, but. Little Brooks. <laughs> and that'll bring us back to the top of the Cedar Ridge order. Back to leadoff hitter Matt Brooks, who doubled, but then was caught trying to extend it into a triple. Back in the, to start the game. We've got courtesy runner number six, Ryan Crosley, now running at uh, first base All for right. Cedar Ridge. So Crosley in for Norton, the catcher. Winsman throws over to check the eager new courtesy runner, make sure he's not going to try to steal on the first move. He's back in time safely. Big breaking ball swung on a miss, strike one.
step move over there towards first. Check the runner, he's back safely. Kind of a small field here. Now that I'm looking at it, 319 in the corners, 344 in right and left center, and only 345 in dead center. And next pitch is swung on and a line drive out into dead center field. That's going to get down and over Simpson's head. Bounces off the wall. Courtesy runner is going to come in all the way from first, and he's going to score. So it is an RBI double for Brooks. Thought we might have a little closer play at the plate. It was a good throw by Ryan Bosick, the shortstop. Trying to, you know, or he did throw it home, but yeah. runner scored easily, making the second run for Cedar Ridge. 2 nothing. That brings up the shortstop, Tucker Allen. Allen flew out to right field in his first appearance. And pretty big lead for the runner, Brooks, there at second. Hard ground ball gets through the glove of the first baseman, Collins, and into right field. That's going to be a single, and that's going to allow Brooks, who has good speed and a huge jump, to come all the way around from second and score. I think they'll likely score that hard ground ball a single. Yeah. So Tucker Allen aboard at first now. Still nobody out. Three runs across so far this inning. That brings up second baseman Peyton Doolin. Doolin struck out in his first at bat. Squares around the bunt. Pops it foul over towards his own dugout. Throws over, checks the runner. Allen at first, he's back in time. Next pitch swung on, lofted into left field. Morio a couple of steps right, then a couple of steps left, and he makes the grab. Now batting number 21, Cody Mon So Doolin flies out for the first out of the inning. Not deep enough for Allen to advance on a tag up. So he remains at first. And designated hitter Cody Monroe stands in. He flew out to center field in his first at bat. First pitch fastball misses a little outside. Comes inside that time, misses a little bit high and tight. 2 0 count to Monroe. Next pitch swung on, ground ball knocked down by Vosick, but it's going to get away, and everybody's going to be safe. Vasek diving to his left, ball just glancing off the end of his glove. We're going to rule that a infield hit as well. I would think they might, given the diving nature there, but we'll see what our official yeah. scorekeeper says here. So, regardless of the scoring, uh, we've got runners on first and second now with one out. And Hudson Hartgrove stands in. Hartgrove with a single back in the second. And he looks at a called first strike. Yes, yeah, so the ruling on that last play there was a single. And I was also going to say it was a heck of a, you know, effort. <laughs> yep, good effort. And a way effort. to keep your lead runner at second base. Yep, knocked it down, kept it yep. from going to the gap. As Hartgrove swings the next pitch and fouls it sharply back in the screen. Thinking it's time to pull the string again, Mr. Windesman. That's been swung on, lofted down right field side. Is it going to be fair or foul? It just bounces right inside the fair line. 
barehanded by right fielder Morio. Throws into second, but the ball's going to get away from shortstop Vasek. And it's going to be a single, but Allen comes all the way around from second and scores. So an RBI single for Hartgrove. Runners on first and second still, and that brings up left fielder Salters. Salters grounded out to first in his first at bat. And he looks at a breaking ball that misses low and out. Well, that wind brought that ball back because I, I was anticipating that to be foul. It sure looked like it was going yeah. foul, but then it just kind of blew in maybe a few inches fair. With, with the wind blowing out to left center, left field, you know, it brought the ball kind of back. Just landing fair. Next pitch, ground ball hits to the first baseman Collins. He's going to throw to second, gets the force out at second. They're not going to go to. They're going to go to first, but they're not going to get him. Two outs. Now batting number fourteen. So Salters Brandon grounds into a fielder's choice. Vasquez. Monroe moves up to third, and with two outs now, we've got runners on first and third, and that brings up third baseman Brandon, Brandon Vasquez who struck out in his first appearance back in the second. He swings the pitch, lofts it high into center field. Simpson going back, 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 and he makes oh. the grab Acro right at the warning Acrobatic track. Acrobatic catch right there by Simpson. Woo, that ball just carried. It was another one that looked like it was going to go out to dead center, but Simpson brings it in, just steps from the fence. Made that look easy, didn't he, Jason? He could say that, yes. <laughs> that was okay, so Cedar Ridge play. strikes first, goes up, cracks open the 0-0 score, goes up by four runs on a home run and a host of hits. We are heading to the top of the fifth. Back to the top of the Mavs order when we get back. All right, Jack, back to the top of the order. Jack Gowen set to lead us off here in the top of the fourth inning, folks. Sorry, I said uh, top of the fifth. We did not skip an inning. We are, in fact, at the top of the fourth. Jack Goins getting ready to start us off here. Goins grounded out the third in his first at bat. And first pitch comes in a in little inside. Misses for a ball. So we got a couple arms up in the uh, Mavericks bullpen area here. One right-hander and one left-hander. And next pitch to Goins. Bounces off the plate. And it will be ball two. Comes inside again this time. Misses. So Goins with a 3-0 count start. And he ball four. <laughs> looks at four straight balls. And going to the board with the leadoff walk. Number nine. That's what we need, base runners. And that'll bring up shortstop Ryan Vosick. Vosick struck out in his uh, first bat back in the first inning. Pitcher Haver throws over to check runner uh, going at first base, and he's back in time with the diving slide. Big swing and a miss on a breaking ball there by Vosick, strike one. Wow, way to take a hack there. 
He was trying to launch one up in that jet stream out in left center field. Now just need to make contact. Another throw over, a little closer play there, but going just back safely. Oh, one pitch is fouled back. Strike two. Oh. oh, delayed strike three call by the umpire. He was listening a little bit too much to that Cedar Ridge dugout on that delayed call there. Anyway, strike three called on Vasek. That's the first out of the inning. That'll bring up Chris Windesman. Windesman grounded out the second in his first at bat. First pitch to Windesman is in there for a called strike. Next pitch popped up. Infield. Short stop. Tucker Allen is over. Comes back in and he makes the grab. That was a major league pop up. Now batting. So two away now, and that will bring up Jackson Collins. Collins struck out in his first at bat. Collins swings, pops up, back towards the catcher's area there. It's going to stay in, and it does. And a nice play by the catcher to end the inning. I thought that one was coming back to us. I did too. <laughs> first left the bat. Kind of blew back in. Yeah. Okay. So Mavs start with the leadoff walk, but unable to uh, do anything with it as they go one, two, three after that. No runs, no hits. We head to the bottom of the fourth. Mavs still chasing four runs, down by a score of 4 0. We'll be right back. All right, we got a pitching change for the Mavericks here to start the bottom of the fourth. Left-handed junior Brandon Morio comes in from right field and will be the relief pitcher, taking over from Chris Windesman, who has moved to center. And uh, James Morio moves from left to right. 
and Ramsey Simpson, the previous center fielder, has moved to left. So Brandon Morio into pitch, and he will face the 8, 9, and then back to the top of the order hitters here. Leading off is right fielder Wilbur. Wilbur with a solo home run. And he's going to square around to try to bunt the first pitch he sees, and it goes foul. Next pitch swung on and lofted foul down the left field side. So Moria working ahead here in his first at bat or first batter. 0-2 count. Next pitch breaking ball line sharply foul again over left field side. Two pitch misses low. One and two the count to the leadoff hitter of the Sydney, Connor Wilbur. Next pitch swung on, ground ball. Takes a weird Ooh. kick, fielded by the second baseman Goings, and throws it over just in time. To half make a step. Play. Yep, got him a half a step there for the first out. Now batting number two. Kyle Norton. So one away here in the bottom of the fourth. That brings up the catcher, Kyle Norton. Norton reached on a hit by pitch in his first at bat in the third inning. And that pitch missed somewhere, maybe low. Ball one. I think you're speculating there. <laughs> hey, maybe low, because it sure did look good, that first pitch, but. We're at 2-0. Oh. Okay. Next pitch swung on. Bar said he got a piece of it there. Foul tipped it. Strike. Two and one to count. Next pitch lined just over the head of the third baseman Sandusky and into left field for a single. He's Simpson bobbles the ball and that's going to allow Norton to get all the way to second base. Now batting number 15, Matty Brooks. And we're going to have another courtesy runner for the catcher Norton on second base. Number six, Ryan Crosley, comes in. I believe he ran for him the first time. So Crosley, your runner on second now with one out. Brings us back to the top of the Raiders order. Matthew Brooks stands in. Brooks doubled. Scored a run in the third inning. First pitch to Brooks. Misses outside. Ball one. Next pitch, ground ball, big oh, kick whoa. in the infield, and that's going to get into left center field. Brooks running all the way, and he's going to end up on second. Ooh, almost, almost comes off the bag there, but manages to stay there. How about that hop that it took? Three, <laughs> that was a big, big hop. Nothing that Ryan Vossa could do on that one. So on that play... Crosley, pinch running for Norton, comes all the way around from second and scores. So Cedar Ridge up now by a score of 5-0. Brooks standing on second. That brings up the shortstop, Tucker Allen. Allen with a single and a fly out so far tonight. He swings the perch pitch, pops it up, shallow center field. Wind has been coming in, Goins going back. Shortstop Vasek gets a glove on it, but can't quite come up with it. 
and Brooks held up at second, obviously thinking that ball was going to be now caught. Man. So it'll be runners on first and second with one out. And that'll bring up the three hitter Peyton Doolin. Doolin 0 for 2 with a strikeout and a fly out. Squares around to bunt. Says he offered at it, even though the ball was kind of low and outside, got away from the catcher Banks. So it'll be strike one. Next pitch misses just a little bit low and outside. One on one the count. Next pitch swung around, lost it out of play. Come and get him here, Brandon. One and two, the count to duel in the hitter. Next pitch, Good stop. Bounces low in the dirt, kept in front by catcher Banks. Let's get a hard ground ball to the second baseman or shortstop. Double play right here. Pitch swung on ground ball to second base. Bobble a little bit by Goins. He's going to throw over to first and get oh. the out there. Brooks gets caught up about halfway between third and home. They're going to have him in a rundown. Let's see if they can get him. And Oh, he came off the bag. He did come back off the bag. Oh, but umpire still called him safe at third base. So Banks tried to run him all the way back to third and didn't throw, so it's going to be safe all around. Well, say after they'll put out at first, both the runners on second and third remain safe. So it is two outs. Now batting number 21. As Doolin grounds out to second base. But both runners move up to second and third, and we're unable to convert on the uh, on Brooks getting hung up right in between mm -hmm. third and home. So two away now brings up designated hitter Monroe. Monroe looks at a breaking ball that's in there for called strike one. Monroe one for two tonight with a single and a fly out. Next pitch. Bounces the dirt outside. Ball one. Another breaking ball, swung on, fouled back into the net. Come on, Mav Z. Help your pitcher out here. We don't need to give up any more runs. One ball, two strikes to count, two outs. Runners on second and third. One two pitch, misses outside. Brooks is really getting a big lead off a of third base. He sure is. And he keeps moving in tor towards home plate even after the pitch is caught by the catcher Garrett Banks. So we got deuces again. There we Breaking go. Breaking ball swung on a miss. Strike change. three. For the third out. First strikeout for Morio. That ends the inning. One run comes across. Raiders leave two stranded. We're heading to the top of the fifth inning. Score Cedar Ridge 5, McNeil 0. We'll be right back.
All right, catcher Garrett Banks set to lead it off for the Mavericks here in the top of the fifth inning. Mavs looking to get some offense going. Just one hit so far this evening. And Banks looks at the first pitch fastball, misses low and outside. Another pitch, pretty much same spot, misses low and outside. Quick 2-0 count to Banks to start the inning. We got some scores uh, that you're working on around the district. Working on it here, working on it here. You demand, Jason. 2-0 pitch, green light swung on, fouled it back into the net. The man with the plan. All right, looks like we got a Hutto leading Vista Ridge by a score of 2-1 to one in the bottom of the third. Stony Point Round Rock all tied up at one apiece in the bottom of the third. That has Banks swings, drives a fly ball into center field. Brooks underneath it, though, a couple steps in and makes the grab for the first out of the inning. And looks like Vista, uh, or, uh, Vandegrift and Westwood just got underway. 0-0 zero, zero here in the top of the first, actually bottom of the first inning. So our game moving a lot faster than everything else in the district tonight, folks. We're already in the fifth inning, and uh, most of the rest of the district games are in the third or the first. Thank you for that update, Jason. And, yeah, it's not even 8 p.m., 7.55 yeah. p.m., yep. Moving quick. So Ramsey Simpson stands in, swings and misses at first pitch, called strike one, or swung on strike one. Next pitch, swung on, fouled back into the net. Heads up. No, it's just past the Cedar Ridge dugout. Foul ball. Row and two. Comes the 0 2 pitch to Simpson. Misses inside. Mavs will take on Stony Point next week, the last full week of games for this season. They will have one more game in the following week uh, against Westwood. And uh, that will be it. Yeah, it's the single. And it's just that just sole game right. against Westwood that wraps up the regular season. Mavs opened the season Tony against Neal. Westwood, one game, then went into two game series against the rest of the schools in the district, and then they end the end the season with one game against Westwood. One two pitch, swung on, fly oh. ball, good cut, well hit ball, but uh, right fielder's underneath it, it, and he makes the grab. So two fly outs, back to back to start the uh, top of the fifth. And that brings up current pitcher for the Mavericks, Brandon Morio. Morio represents the only hit so far on the board tonight for the Mavericks. Well, let's get hit number two. Brandon, what do you say? First pitch swinging. I knew that he was going to be taking a cut if the, if the pitch was there, and it was. He fouled it, kind of bounced off the corner of the... Uh, Cedar Ridge dugout area there. Strike one. Next pitch bounces. That's what I like about the first pitch swinging though because majority of the time the pitcher is going to try to get ahead of the batter and what's he normally throw? Fastball. And Morio swings it a you know. fastball high and inside there, fouls it back yep. off the Cedar Ridge dugout again. One ball, two strikes to count here, two outs, nobody on. Top of the fifth. The next pitch goes outside again and bounces it. Comes 2 2 pitch. Look out. This is high and inside this time. Full count. Next pitch swung on ground ball. Fielded by the shortstop Allen on the run. Ball's going to be yep. a throw, bounce throw, and then first baseman can't handle it. So Mori will be aboard with a two out safe on an error on the throw by shortstop Tucker Allen there. Now batting number 29, K. 
Caleb Trail. Courtesy yeah. runner John, uh, Ryan Shook. Yeah, I don't think that's his father running out there. No, I, it's I, not. Something tells me. No, uh, I was just about to say John. Something tells me Father <laughs> Shook there's uh, eligibility is <laughs> over. I don't know. <laughs> nah, John Shook can still play. Suit him up, coach. <laughs> Designated header Crow comes in. He swings the first pitch and lines a ground ball into right field for a base hit. Shook's going to hold up as the throw is offline, but uh, but he got the stop sign anyway. So Mavs played it safe here with two outs. Runners on first and second. And Crail puts up the second hit for the Mavericks tonight. And with two outs, that brings up left fielder James Morio. And first pitch to Moria was in there for a called strike. Next pitch, fastball misses up, misses up. Definitely a different sequence here. Morio saw nothing but fastballs outside. His first at bat this time he's seen two in or two in and up. One and one the count. Next pitch comes in, bounces in the dirt. That'll and advance the runners. Back to the screen. So there we go. Shook advances the third. Crail advances the second on the wild pitch. And Mavs with a chance to score here if they could find a way to Morio could find a way to get some green grass. Yeah, pitcher uh, number 17, Jacob Havern. Yeah, he's mixing it up on James Morio with these pitches like you were talking about. Completely different sequence of pitches this time around for James Morio. Definitely trying to jam him in this yeah. time, but struggling to make it there. 3-1 count. And ball four. It's and the ball is away from the catcher, and that's going to allow Shook to advance there and score go. from third. So Mavs strike back, put up a run on a pass ball walk. Krill moves up from second to third. Morio with the two out walk. And we're back to the top of the Mavericks order here. Score now 5-1. Jack Goins stands in. Goins with a walk and a ground out. And first pitch to Goins. Misses high and inside. Just a bit high and, and tight. That's going to cause a yeah. trip to the mound from the Cedar Ridge head coach. Nice long talk from the Cedar Edge head coach with his pitcher, Jacob Havern. All right, amount of visits over. And we're underway again. Let's play ball. Pitch to Goins is in there for a called strike. One one pitch swung on ground ball shortstop fielded by Allen. He's going to throw over to second. Oh, the ball gets away. Throw. So it's going to be safe. No force out at second. Run scores as the throw got underneath the glove of the second baseman Doolin. And Crail scores from third, making the score five to two, Cedar Ridge. So 
so going safe on the air. Morio safe at second base on the on the blown force out. So Morio at second, Goins the runner at first. That brings up Ryan Vosick. First pitch to Vosick, fastball misses inside. And next pitch, fastball gets away from the catcher on a wild pitch again. And both runners move up another base. Mounds with runners on second and third now again. Time to capitalize with two outs. Base hit could score two here as Goins here's your, has here's very your good pitch. speed. Yep. Another fastball misses outside. Goins has, yes, he has great speed. 3-0 count. And Goins on second base, so. Don't see any activity over in the uh, Raiders' bullpen mm -mm. just yet. And 3-0 right. pitch is in there for a called strike. That's and up. Next pitch misses high, ball four. four. Two out walk, loads the bases. That's going to bring up Chris Windesman. And Windesman looks at the first pitch fastball that's in there for a called strike. Time to pull that trigger. Bases loaded. It goes outside this time, swung out and missed, strike two. Oh, and two the count to Windesman. Bases loaded here, two outs. Oh, oh, it hit him. And it hits him. Hits him on the foot. So another run comes across. Winnesman is going to take his time, head down to first. Hit by pitch, RBI. RBI hit by pitch for Winnesman. Painful way to score a run there, yeah. but hopefully he's all right. So on the run that came across there, that now makes pulls the Mavericks to within two. As Wynn has been still kind of working out that uh, that fastball to his either his knee or his foot there. Look, he's holding his knee. Might have got him on the knee instead of the foot. Looks like he's all right. At least all right enough to stand <laughs> on first. So base is still loaded. Two outs brings up Jackson Collins. And he looks at the first pitch fastball in there for called strike one. Good to see Chris Windesman on the base pass, first base. So, good enough. <laughs> Next pitch, fastball misses high and out. Collins is the ninth batter to come to the plate this inning for the Mavericks. One one pitch, swung on, pop foul, out of play. Back here towards the bleacher area. It's going to bounce just outside of the bleachers. One ball, two strikes to count to Collins. Wind has been your runner on first. Vasek on second. Goings the runner at third. Next pitch swung on. Fouled it back out of play. Back behind the press box. More baseballs, says the umpire, and umpires resupplied. Mm -hmm. 
Collins I'm almost good. pulled the trigger on that high fastball there, but just pulled back enough. To Way to lay around. off, yep. Way to lay off. So two balls, two strikes. And we got another round of deuces. Battling with two strikes, fouls off the next outside fastball into the net. Good at bat right here by Jackson Collins. Tucci pitch. Swung on a missed strike three. Ball uh, gets away from the catcher. And he's going to be instructed to just touch the plate on the drop third strike with bases loaded. And that's going to end the inning. But one hit, a couple of defensive miscues, and it's a hit by pitch. And the Mavs tack on three runs, break the scoring drought, and we head to the bottom of the fifth inning, score Cedar Ridge five, McNeil three. We'll be we right back. we got a ball game now. Heartgrove. Five, six, seven in the order due up for Cedar Ridge here in the bottom of five. Leading off will be the first baseman, Hudson Hartgrove. Hartgrove two for two, two singles so far. First pitch from Morio, ground ball. Second fielded by second baseman Goins. Field gets it, throws it over, first base, one pitch, one out. Salters. One quick out here in the bottom of fifth. Brings up left fielder Luke Salters. Salters 0 for 2 with a ground out and uh, hit into a fielder's choice. I like it. One pitch and one out. And first pitch breaking ball. Misses a little out. Ball one. Next pitch swung on, fouled into the net, out of play. One oh breaking ball just got a piece right off the end cap there for a foul ball. One two pitch goes up high with the heater there. Strike three. Smart, smart decision right there. Go with the high fastball. Hard to lay off. So two away. Brings up third baseman. Oh, actually looks like we're gonna have a pinch hitter here. Now batting number five, Reese Connell. Okay, number five, Reese Connell has come in and is hitting in the seventh spot in place of the third baseman, Brandon Vasquez. Left-hand hitted Connell in here for his first at bat tonight. He looks like a first pitch breaking ball in there for a called strike.
Another breaking ball, pretty much same spot. Two beautiful pitches. I mean, just wicked breaking balls. Excellent movement. He comes back with a fastball. Ground ball fielded by a third baseman, Sandusky. Throws nice. over and going to end the inning. Cannon by Sandusky, the third baseman. Freshman, by the way. That's it for that inning. So another strikeout makes it two strikeouts for Morio here in his relief outing. Raiders go one, two, three in the bottom of the fifth. We hit to the top of the sixth. Score is still 5-3. Raiders, we'll be right back. All right, got a pitching change for the Raiders. Number 14, Brandon Vasquez, formerly the third baseman, has come in in relief for Jacob Havern. A couple other scores, updates around the district. Hutto now leading Vista Ridge by a score of 4-1 to in the bottom of the fifth. Round Rock, Round Rock leading Stony Point 3-1 to in the bottom of the fourth. And uh, Vandegrift up on Westwood in the bottom of the second by a score of 3-0. Catcher Garrett Banks will lead it off. He would be the first batter that the new pitcher Vasquez faces. And he will look at a ball that misses low and outside. Banks with a ground out and a fly out to center field in his last at bat in the fifth inning. He's a big hack of the next pitch. Swing miss, strike one. He made contact with the ball right there. It'd be in the stratosphere. Oh, yeah, God, that was a hack. And looks at the next pitch breaking ball that's in there for called strike two. All right, two strikes on you. Cut that swing down. One two fastball swung on a miss, strike three. Now batting number twelve. First strikeout for Vasquez. Simpson. One away for the Mavs here in the top of the sixth. Brings up center fielder. Actually, no, Simpson is in left now. Yeah, he's uh, left field. That's right. Uh, That's correct. Ramsey Simpson. Yeah. Simpson with a line out and a fly out in his two at bats. Big swing and a miss the first pitch, strike one. These last few games, Ramsey has really made good contact. He's really well, been next swinging pitch that it in well. The air. Could it drop? I don't know. I don't think so. Oh, right fielder. Because a makes fantastic it. play by the left fielder. Diving. Diving and making the catch there for the second out. Now batting. Number four. Wow. Play by Salters in left field. Yeah, left fielder Salters laid out full Superman style yeah. in the front there and managed to make the grab for the second out of the inning. That brings up Brandon Morio. Swings a little squib ground ball. 
It's going to be fielded by Allen, throws over to first base, and that's going to end the inning. Quick one, two, three for the relief pitcher Vasquez here in relief. No runs, no hits, no errors. We head to the bottom of the sixth. Mavs still chasing run. Two runs down by a score of five to three. We'll be right back. Now batting number 25. All right, 8-9, then back to the top for Cedar Ridge here in the bottom of the sixth inning. Leading off the right fielder, Wilbur. Wilbur one for two today with a solo home run back in the third. And he looks at a first pitch breaking ball in there for a called strike. Another breaking ball. Oh, misses somewhere. Might have missed a little low. Next pitch, fastball. Goes up top, misses inside and high. Two balls, one strike that counts the leadoff hitter, Wilbur. the breaking ball again but misses low and outside so it'll be three and one and next pitch misses high ball four leadoff walk for Wilbur to start at the bottom of the sixth now batting number two Kyle Norton I'll bring up number nine here to the catcher Kyle Norton Norton reached both of his appearances, first time by a hit by pitch and then a single. It's a big swing and a miss, first pitch breaking ball, strike one. Squares around to bunt, lays it down, but it's going to go foul. Very difficult to lay down a bunt with that breaking ball. Yeah. It's got so much movement on it. So Norton in the hole 0-2. I don't think he'll be squaring away, but you never know. Next pitch, breaking ball just caught a piece of it and felt it right off of the uh, shin guard of the catcher, Banks, who had his leg extended. Looks like he's all right. Yeah. Thanks to the shin guard. <laughs> we don't need we don't need Garrett Banks getting hurt, <laughs> getting hit by it. He's had his fair share of uh, knocks ball. this season, that's for sure. Broken middle finger, uh, a ball to the face, where he took 11 stitches. Uh, one two pitch, fastball gets away from the catcher Banks and back to the net. That's going to allow Wilbur to advance one base up to second. That young man is an iron horse. Indeed.
Two and two the count, now it's Norton. Beautiful. And pitch. next pitch breaking ball in there, oh, caught him looking, strike what, three. Yeah. First strikeout, or now third strikeout of the game for Morio, first out of the inning. Light Brooks. And that brings us back up to the top of the order, Matthew Brooks. Brooks with two doubles, and actually a third double if he had not tried to <laughs> extend it into a triple. <laughs> In that first at bat, yeah. Yep. Brooks definitely a tough out. Morio's going to have to be crafty here to work around him. And he swings to the first pitch and fouls it into the screen. And about a strong gust of Texas pollen flies off of the net there off of that foul ball impact. Just nasty pollen. Oh, the joys of having allergies living in this great city of ours. Yes. <laughs> and greater Austin area, but I digress. Here we go. Yeah, Brooks is not an easy out by any means. Squares around to bunt, breaking ball, gets away from Banks, and okay. that's far he enough He squared away. around to bunt, so is that going to be a strike? No. Well, they said he, said he didn't commit, so. Yeah, I guess not. Two and one. Wilbur advanced to third there on the kick around in the back, and that last pitch there missed a little bit outside, ball three. Mavs infield, they're all playing in. Yep, trying to cut off that run at home with one out. Three balls, one strike, the count to the hitter Brooks. Next pitch is swung on, lofted into center field. Wind has been going back. He's right at the fence. He's going to make the grab. It's going to be deep enough, though, for Wilbur to tag up and score from third. So a sacrifice fly for Brooks brings in another run for the Raiders. Makes the score. Six to three. Two away. Bases, nobody on base now, and that brings up the number two hitter, Tucker Allen. Allen with two singles and a fly out. First pitch to Allen. Kicks away from the catcher there. Ball one. Just looking at now. Hutto has gone up by a score of six to one over Vista Ridge at the bottom of the fifth. And right. next pitch for Morio catches the outside corner for a called strike. You say that Hutto game is the fifth inning? Fifth inning, yeah. All right. Thank you. Well, the breaking ball misses just a little bit low and outside. Ball two. Goes the fastball, comes inside that time, swung on and missed, strike two. Two balls, two strikes, two outs, nobody on. And it looks like Westwood and Van De Westwood's ahead of Gr Vandegrift now by a score of four to three in the bottom of the second. Okay. And goes the fastball again, strike three. Two strikeouts that inning for Morio. One run comes across though on the walk that came all the way around on the sack fly by Brooks. Put him up by a score of six to three now. Mavs coming up for their last at-bats here. Chasing three runs. Top of seventh. We'll be right back.
All right, it will be up to the 8-9 and then leadoff hitters for the Mavericks here to keep this inning entertaining, lively, and to try to keep this game going. Leading off will be the designated hitter, Caleb Crail. And Crail looks at a first pitch breaking ball in there for called strike one. Crail one for two. Has one of the Mavs' two hits tonight. And looks at the next pitch and misses low and out. Let's get some base runners on. 1-1 one, one pitch. This is just a little bit low again. Ball two. Any way you can. Any way you can to get on base. Tries to go to the slider there and misses high. Crail looking at 3-1 here to start off the inning. <laughs> and that pitch looked like it almost hit the clothing of Crail there, but I'll probably call it strike two. Full count to Crail. 3-2 pitch coming up. Swung on. Line foul. Third base side. Well, there's been a few delayed calls by this home plate umpire. Just stating a fact. And and I think the majority of the Mav Nation, like, you know, here watching this game thought that was ball four. That previous pitch. That was that same one. Kind yeah. Of, most likely would have been a ball, but uh, given the way that it was called, Crail swung at it and managed to foul it over towards the uh, Raiders dugout. And I don't blame Crail at all for fouling that pitch off. Nope. Umpire's going to call it a strike, so. Next pitch swung on, a little s pop fly. <laughs> Stays in the infield, fielded by the pitcher, Vasquez, there for the first out. Now batting, number 15, James Morio. One away, brings up left fielder James Morio. Morio with a walk and a run scored in the fifth inning. And then flew out. He looks at a first pitch ball, misses outside. Big swing and a miss the next pitch. 1-1 one, one the count. Definitely liked what he saw too. That was a big hack. Next pitch, breaking ball in there for called strike two. One-two fastball misses. Pretty far high and out. Be two balls, two strikes, count one out, nobody on. Next pitch just caught a piece of the breaking ball, fouls it out of play. There you go, way to stay alive. Definitely seeing a steady diet of everything on the outer <laughs> quadrants. This at bat. And he fights it off. Fights off Foul. another one, fouls it out of play. And next pitch swung on a miss, strike three. So it will be down to the leadoff hitter, Jack Goins, to try to keep the game alive here for the Mavs in the, in the top of the seventh. Goins with a ground out, reached on a walk, and then reached on an error on a throw, errant throw by the shortstop in his last at bat in the fifth. And he looks at first pitch, called strike. Now batting number one, Jack Goins.
Next pitch swung on, lofted into the air, shallow right field. Right fielder comes in a couple of steps behind second base. He makes the grab, and that's going to end the game. So Mavs keep it respectable. Lose, drop, lose the game by a score of six to three. Thanks everyone for joining us this e just this evening. Next game coming up, series against Stony Point next week. Mavs will be at Stony Point on Tuesday, April 19th at 7 o'clock. Be sure to join us then for the last three games of the season, folks. Thanks again, everyone. Have a good evening. Good evening, y'all.